Oh. Here we are. Here's the magic Ikoria box. Alright, so it says... Alternative art premium foil colossification card. 20 premium foil and regular basic lanes. Two reference cards, six counters, a special oversized spin-down life counter. Icoria Lair Behemoth card box and 15... Oh, 10 15 card boosters. Oh man, that's five less boosters. Alright. Let's open it. Alright. Uh. Oh, look at that. It's like a fancy little, like... Whoa. <laughs> that's kind of neat. So I got a dice. Although, I already have like a billion dice. But, hey, it's another D20. I'll take it. Uh, and then... Wait, what's in here? What is this? Ah! <laughs> Mutating your creatures. Oh, I don't know how to do that. This is... Some sh I think it's security shit. Uh, this is a box. <laughs> take a look at this! Wow. Insane. I'm glad I paid money for that. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, here we go. Isn't random, it's a countdown die. Oh. <laughs> ah. I see. 13, 12. Oh! So it's easier to count. Okay. I got you. <laughs> Alright, so in here. What? They just give you a bunch of holographic lands. That makes my other holographic land seem worthless. And a holographic classification. And look at this. I got all my holographic lands now. Neat. The outer box is also a poster. Oh, that's kind of cool then. Well, <laughs> at least they look different. So that's kind of cool. Every land is different. So maybe the one I got is actually different from all the lands in here? Hold on, let's find out. Where are my lands? Uh, that I opened yesterday. Uh, it's the one with all the crystals on it. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, the pillow behind me. Someone made that, like, years ago. And they sent it. And I was like, neat. <laughs> and I've had it ever since. Uh, actually, you know what? No, wait. It's... I feel like it's a little brighter. It might just be a placebo, though. Alright, either way. I got a bunch of holographic lanes. There we go. Yeah, you can tell time periods from where it's from because of the, uh, the animation design. <laughs> uh, alright. And then in here... We've got a bunch of normal lands. Pick a land, any land. Wow. Alright. So we got the boring stuff out of the way. Now we get to... Oh wait, what are these? Uh, first strike max... Oh, these are counter things. Alright. And then we got a... Planeswalker loyalty, popular magic formats. Cool. Alright, now, we start opening packs. Let's go. Alright. Alright, here we go, here we go. Yeah. Dude, compared to, like, opening these online, this is, like, nostalgic. So I used to get, like, Yu-Gi-Oh packs back in the day. Pokemon cards. Oh, yeah. That's Nintendo game. That's legit, like, old-school Nintendo instruction manual smell. Uh, alright. So we've also got no table required. Magic the Gathering Arena. What do you know? Uh, so we got the Bush Meat Poacher. It's the one where you can sacrifice a creature, draw a card. 
We got heightened reflexes. It's kind of... it's okay. Uh, coordinated charge. It's, uh, plus two one. It's alright. Uh, Frostvale Ambush. A lot of cycling nerds play this. Very annoying. Uh, Suffocating Fumes. I've passed this over in drafts many times just because I'm like, eh. <laughs> uh, Ferocious Tigerilla. I like this card a lot. You play it, it's a 4 3 for 4, and you get to choose whether it has uh, Trample or Menace on it, which is pretty neat. A Dranith Healer. Another uh, nerdy cycling card for the cycling decks, not a fan. Uh, Essence Scatter. Yeah, that's a good blue card. Essence Scatter is always good. Uh, Sudden Spinnerets. I never really play this card. I usually draft one and then take it out. <laughs> uh, Divine. Oh, there we go. Divine Arrow. Classic. Attacking uh, or blocking creature takes four damage. That's a solid one. Avian Oddity. The old Avian Oddity. It is... I can see it. 3-4... Eh, no, 3-4, 2-4. 4 mana, cycling, and if you cycle it, you give a, a flying counter to a target creature. Oh, shit! We got a... Wacky Art... Auspicious Starix. We got the Wacky Art Starix. That's pretty good. Starx is an awesome card. I don't know if you've seen me play it on stream, but... It's some cool art. Uh, and then we've got Sonorous Howlbonder. That's the one where it... Uh, I believe it has Menace, and then it gives creatures... Uh... Uh, each creature you control with Menace can't be blocked except by three or more creatures. So instead of two, it's three. Um. Oh my mama mia! Alright, and then we've got... Jangatha... The Wellspring. I don't even think I've seen this card in Arena. Like, in a draft. Companion... No card in your starting deck has more than one of the same mana symbol as mana cost. You can add any color mana. This mana cost... Wait, this mana can't be spent to pay generic mana cost. Huh. That's a five mana, five, five. That's pretty neat. And then I got a... Blue-red lane. Yeehaw. Neat. Alright, that was a pretty good pack. Pretty solid. Put those here. Open another one. Oh yeah. It's got a, uh... The... Prickling Marmoset or whatever the shit it's called on it. <laughs> here we go. Yep. I got it. I got it. There we go. More cards, more magic. Uh, alright. MagicTheGatheringOnline.com Uh, so we've got... Greater Sandworm. Hey, I've played that card a lot. It's a big-ass sandworm. <laughs> Uh, 7-7, seven, seven, you can cycle it for 7. <gasps> the Thieving Otter! One of my favorites. It's an otter, it steals. In fact, it's a Thieving Otter. Um, hold on, maybe there's a better screen for the brightness here. Hold on. It's gonna be a screen that's like, hold on, what if I go to this quick draft? Eh, it's pretty bright. Uh, oh, a Mutual Destruction. That's a good card. Pretty much you, uh, play this, you sacrifice a creature to kill one of their creatures. Um, 
Oh shit, I missed Hellbent Wolf Bot 11 minutes ago. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll get to all the subs and resubs when, uh, when I'm done. Uh, Spell Eater Wolverine. It's an alright card. Uh, Adaptive Shimmer. I've, uh, never used this card. <laughs> uh, Phase Dolphin. Phase Dolphin. Uh, it's okay. Uh, Spontaneous Flight. Uh, it's the old plus two, two, give a flying counter. Uh, ooh, Blood Curdle. Destroy a creature, give menace to something you got. That's pretty nice. Uh, Flycatcher Giraffid. That's a neat one to play. It's not like the best, but it's not bad. Uh, ooh. Sprite Dragon. It's a blue-red Sprite Dragon. Two mana, Flying Haste. Whenever you cast non-creature spell, put a 1-1 one -one counter on Sprite Dragon. Huh. And then... Will of the All Hunter. Whee! Which is... Tar creature gets 2-2. If it's blocking, it gets 2-1-1 one, one counters on it instead. It's also got cycling. Uh, then we get Enchant Land. Enchanted Land has tar creature against Trample Haste until end of turn. Wow. Uh, Footfall Crater. Then we've got... Indatha Triome. Add white, black, or green. Enters the battlefield tap. Cycling. Three. That's a cool looking card. Wow. Hold on, I'll uh, make it a little bigger. There we go. My camera's still like square, so it's not. I it can't take up the whole thing. Uh, then we've got shredded, a holographic shredded sails. Wow. Neat. <laughs> uh. And then I've got a planes. <laughs> and then I've got a companion. A companion card? I... I guess? I don't know what that means. You may cast it once from... Is that just like a companion slot? Oh, it's a zone marker, okay. Am I excited for Shadowlands? Yeah. I'm excited for every WoW expansion that ever comes out. <laughs> uh, alright. So, another one. Triumph's worth five, six bucks! Nice! That pays for the pack itself. <laughs> alright. Uh, this pack gives me a trample counter. She got one already, but now I got another one. Unlikely aid. You get plus two and indestructible. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, da -da -da -da. Blazing volley. It's not that great. Um, <laughs> Blade banish. Yeah, that's pretty good. Exile a target creature with power four or greater. Uh, keep safe. When I first saw this card, I was like, that seems alright, but then nobody ever plays it, so I don't even think it's that great. Dark Bargain. Uh, I've seen some people use this. I never really played it. Looks kind of cool, though. Uh, Blister Spit Gremlin. It's a cool-looking gremlin. <laughs> it's just a 1-1, one -one, and you can, like, untap them and stuff. Oh, the Cloud Piercer! That's a fun mutate card. The old Cloud Piercer. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, let's see. Survivor's Bond. Uh, I don't think I've ever really played this card. Actually, I may have played it once. <laughs> uh, Day Squad Marshal. It's a uh, 3 3 for 4. And you create a 1 1. Uh, when you play him, I think? Yeah. When he enters the battlefield. Uh, Moscote Goriak. 2-4 Vigilance for 3. It's pretty alright. 
Uh, monstrous step. Dude, I played this last night when I was playing. You give something 7-7, seven, seven, if something can block it, it does. So, that's a nice, like, big boost. Uh, ooh, here's the Grim Dancer. He's, uh, 3 mana, 3-3, three, three, and when he enters the battlefield, you give him 2 counters, Menace, Death, Touch, or Lifelink. Yeah. Uh, Channeled Force. This is the one I took before, and then everyone was like, why would you take this? Because you have to, like, discard cards to use it and whatever. It's alright, it's not that good. Uh, oh my god! We got a Shark Typhoon! <laughs> shark Typhoon! I'm pretty sure this card's, like, actually pretty good. It's, uh... Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create an XX blue shark creature token with flying, where X is that spell's converted mana cost. When you cycle Shark Typhoon, create an XX Blue Shark Creature token with flying, and you can also cycle it. Yo, that shit's crazy. <laughs> uh, and then I got a Black Green Lion. Yo, that's pretty good. Alright. Next up. Alright, alright. Trying to get the... Dude, $5 card, let's go! <laughs> These packs are paying for themselves. Alright, alright, alright. Here we go. Startling development. I love the card art on this one. Uh, I wish I could just get him to autofocus. Yeah, oh, look at that. There he is. It's cool card art. Uh, Gloom Pangolin. Gloom Pangolin. He looks cool. He's like, okay. It's like a 1 5. <laughs> Frenzied Raptor. Frenzied Raptor's okay. It's a 4-2 for 2 for 3. Uh, Evolving Wilds, that's a nice card. Pretty much you play that and sacrifice it to just pick a land of your choice and put it onto the battlefield tap. Uh, Facet Reader. His ability lets you draw a card, this card a card. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop. Kind of see it. Uh, well, we got a Vulpakeet. A normal Vulpakeet. <laughs> Not a cool card art one. Easily one of my favorite cards. Love me some Vulpakeets. Uh, Glimmer Bell. It's a flying jellyfish looking thing. And we got Adventurous Impulse, which is pretty much a, uh, you know, search your, you, you pick from the top three cards. Yeah, you look at the top three cards, reveal a creature, land card from it, put it into your hand, rest on the bottom of your deck. Uh, Patagia Tiger. Flying Tiger, 3-4 for 5. You can give a human 2-2 two, two until the end of the turn. Oh, here's a Trumpeting Gnar. Look at this thing. This is actually a really nice card. Uh, it's 3 mana, green, blue. Mutate. Whenever this creature mutates, create a 3-3 three, three green beast creature token. That shit's annoying to deal with. Uh, Ominous Seas. This is the one where uh, you draw a card. Whenever you draw a card, you put a counter on it. And when you get eight counters, you can, like, bring in the 8-8 uh, eight, eight Kraken thing. That's pretty neat. Uh, Valiant Rescuer. Whenever you cycle another card for the first time each turn, create a 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature token. And it's a 3-1. Uh, this is the one I thought he was carrying a dinosaur. I thought the dude was carrying a dinosaur. It looks like he's carrying the raptor to safety, like a human raptor, but really he's like carrying a human and the raptor's in the background. <laughs> and I can never unsee it. It always looks like he's carrying the raptor. Um, 
Uh, then we got Labyrinth Raptor. Yo, look at that guy. Black Red R Labyrinth Raptor. Menace, whenever a creature you control with menace becomes blocked, the defending player sacrifices a creature blocking it. Great. Uh, or creatures you control with menace get 1-0 till the end of the turn. That's really nice. Uh, oh my god, I got it. I got the holographic porky parrot. <laughs> holographic porky parrot, there it is. A legend. Whoa. <laughs> and then I got a human soldier and a blue lane. Yo, holographic porky parrot. Let's go. All right. <laughs> uh, da, da. Mm -hmm. Is this the same Krendor from the Chrono Trigger stream? Chrono Trigger stream. The one with Jesse and Gerard and everybody? If so, yes. That is me. <laughs> And those are my friends. That would be me. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. Also, I'll be getting to resubs when I'm done. I know I'm like 10, 20 minutes late. That's all right. I gotta finish up in these cards. Uh, Night Squad Commando. When Night Squad Commando is battlefield, if you attack this turn, create a 1-1 one -one human soldier creature token. Night Squad Commandos, uh, alright. Uh, Cathartic Reunion. Discard two cards, draw three cards. Never knows, but you got a big nose, dude. Yeah, I mean, I'm like Polish, German, and Yugoslavian or whatever. So, I mean, <laughs> it's the Eastern European in me. Almighty, oh, we got an Almighty Brushwag! Yo, look at that shit. Look at that shit. Now that's power. Uh, hampering snare. Oop. I never really play a hampering snare. Uh, yo, memory leak. Memory leak's pretty good. You can cycle it, or you can make them discard a card and you, re you reveal their hand. Oh shit, here he is, the Prickly Marmoset. That's what it was, Prickly Marmoset. It's really nice, got first strike when you cycle a card, you get plus 2-0, so he's a 4-3 when you cycle. Really annoying. Yo, what the shit? Uh, I got a various... It's like a Cavern Whisper alternate card art. Yo, look at that. This one's got to focus. This one's, uh... Extended art, is that what it is? Uh, it's actually a really good card, too. It's, uh... Mutate for four mana. Menace, whenever this creature mutates, each opponent discards a card. Uh, Migratory Great Horn. It's actually a really nice card. When it mutates, you can, like, put a land onto the field. That's a 3-4 four for 4, or you can mutate for 3. Uh, here's a Sabertooth. 3-1 Cat. Of course, these focus in, like, 2 seconds. <laughs> uh, fully Grown. 3-3 three, three, Trample. Uh, yo, Glowstone Recluse! With some crazy extended art. Look at that! Another extended art card. Neat. Uh, and Void Beckoner. Got the Void Beckoner. He's got Death Touch. And it won't focus. Um, Death Touch cycling for three. When you cycle Void Beckoner, put a Death Touch counter on target creature you control. He's also an eight mana, eight, eight. Woo! Those are comic art cards. Sinvicta said otherwise. So Sinvicta's must be wrong then. Uh, yo, we got Boneyard Lurker. Yo, we're getting some good cards here. Oh, those are the alternate art. <laughs> uh, Boneyard Lurker. Look at that. 
He's pretty neat. Four mana, four, four. Whenever this creature mutates, return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Um, and then we got the Crystalline Giant. Yo, Crystalline Giant. The beginning of combat on your turn, choose any kind of counter at random that Crystalline Giant doesn't have on it from an, from among flying. First strike, death touch, hexproofs, lifelink. Hexproofs? <laughs> uh, menace, reach, trample, vigilance, and plus one one. Put a counter on that on the giant. That shit's crazy. Uh, and then I got a green black lion and a human soldier. Alright. I have no mythic rares yet. Or wait, what was my, uh... I did get that one... What was it? The elk? Was the elk a mythic rare? Is that a mythic rare? If it focuses? Why do these not focus? Up oh, there it is. Oh, he's just rare? Okay, so it's not mythic rare. Uh, Alright. It's alright, we still got five packs. Mythic's orange, rare's golden. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. They just haven't, uh... They haven't given them the, they haven't given me the rare yet. That's alright. Or the mythic rare. It's gonna be a, there's probably one in every one of these packs. Gust of wind, target uh, da, 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 da. return target non land permanent, you don't control to owner's hand, draw a card, cost two less. If you got a creature with flying. Corpse churn. Put cards in your graveyard. Uh Forbidden Friendship. That one's annoying. You make a 1-1 one, one dinosaur and a white human to soldier token. Uh, all the cyclers play that. Garrison Cat. Yo, Garrison Cat. Cat, it's you. He's under there. Uh, <laughs> anticipate. Pretty much look at the top three cards. And uh, put one of them into your hand. Rest on the bottom library. Yo, we got a pacifism. That card's annoying to deal with. Can't attack or block when you enchant something. Uh, Spring Jaw Trap. It's got flash, deals three damage to any target uh, if you sacrifice it for mana. Uh, Essence Symbiote. That's really good for mutation decks. Whenever a creature you control mutates, put a 1 1 counter on that creature and you gain two life. And it's a 2 2 2. Uh, then we got the Imposing Vantasaur. 3-6, six, 6 mana Vigilance, Cycling 1. Uh, then we got... Oh, shit! Archipelagor! <laughs> got a good old Archipelagor. Uh, I lost a game to this guy because... Let me read it. You mutate for 6. Whenever this creature mutates, tap up to X target creatures, where X is the number of times this creature's mutated. Those creatures don't untap during their controller's next untap step. So you literally just put mutate him, tap their thing, mutate it again, tap two things, and keep going. <laughs> uh, fight as one. Whee! Choose one or both. Target human creature you control gets 1-1, one, one, gains indestructible. Target non-human creature gets 1-1 one, one indestructible. Uh, I can afford so much more magic cards than I did when I was a kid. That's the thing. <laughs> now that you have a job and money, you can waste a ton of money on all the things you couldn't do as a kid. Uh, we got Momentum Rumbler. Momentum Rumbler is actually pretty nice. So you got... Uh, da, 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 da. If it focuses... Whenever Momentum Rumbler attacks, if it doesn't have first strike, put a first strike counter on it. Whenever Rumbler attacks, if it has first strike, it gains double strike until end of turn. 3-3 three, three for 4. Really nice to mutate onto. Um, yo, we got another Tryland. Red, white, black. Tryland. That's a pretty cool lane. 
Hell yeah. I'll take some tri lands, dude. Wait, that's that is a that's an extended art tri land. Yo. I'll drink to that. Uh and then we've got some counters and we got a holographic <laughs> survivor's bond and a planes. Wow. Just what I wanted. Holographic survivor's bond. Yo, $12 card. Who cares about holographic uh Gorilla and friend. Nice. <laughs> we got the cool tri -line. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. What am I drinking? I'm drinking a wine Nick told me to drink. Uh, it's like prisoner... Some prisoner wine for like 20 bucks. He was like, you gotta drink it. So I got it. It's alright. <laughs> alright. Here we go. Here we go. Prisoner wine has been made from fruit in a Ziploc bag. Dude, I wish I'd try that. Uh, here we go. Whoa, watermelon. Mm-hmm. Lava serpent. Six mana, five, five, hey, cycling two. Plummet. Destroy a creature with flying. Capture sphere. You just tap something, doesn't untap. Boo -doo, boo -doo, boo -doo. Serrated scorpion. <laughs> there he is, the serrated scorpion. One, one, two, when it dies, you deal two damage and gain two life. Uh, Shred Sails. I already got a holographic of that. Sleeper Dart. Sacrifice it. Doesn't untap during untap step. Uh, got another Saber Tooth. Yo, we got a Fire Prophecy. Hell yeah. This card's strong as shit. Uh, you do three damage, and you may put a card from your hand on the bottom of your library if you do draw a card. So you can, like, cycle something. Uh, here's Wilt. It's pretty shitty. Uh, Zagoth Crystal. Black, green, blue. Zagoth Crystal. Uh, Call the Death Dweller. This card's alright. It lets you bring back three mana from uh, the graveyard. So you can bring back a three mana creature, you can bring back three one ones, you can bring back a two and a one. It's pretty neat. Uh, we got... Oh. We got a... <laughs> Whoa, oh, oh. Speaking of uh, watermelon swallowing, Pretty much, uh, tap, untap, creature you control, exile, tap, creature, put a 1-1 one, one counter on, creature, tap. So you, like, get rid of one of their tap things, then your tap thing gets a 1-1. One, one. Yo, we got the eerie ultimatum. Return any number of permanent cards with different names from your graveyard to the battlefield. You only need two green, two white, three black. I played that the other day. Well, week. Oh my god, dude. We have gotten... <laughs> I think I may have gotten the greatest card of all time. <laughs> I don't even think I need a mythic rare. Not when you have holographic... Extended alternative art, whatever. Pork you parrot. <laughs> Look at this shit. Look at this guy. Now that dude, he looks like a quill bore. <laughs> this card's awesome. Somebody, I need a price check. And then I got a uh, red white lion. And a, uh, human soldier. $50 card! $9 million card, dude! 
$600 card. Oh, man. I'm gonna be rich. <laughs> Alright. Three more packs. And then I'll get to all the resubs, and then we'll do a quick draft in game. Dude, yeah, that's worth like. I can get like two, three bottles of wine for that one. Here's the thing. Right? I don't think I'd want to sell that card. I love that card. <laughs> uh, unless someone wants to pay nine million. If you want to buy it for nine million, I will accept that. Okay. Snaps? Oh, that's a good point. I forgot the snaps. All right. All right. Um. <laughs> Blazing volley. Shitty. I'd accept any offer over a hundred thousand dollars. Uh, blade banish. It's another blade banish. Uh, Marie. Marie can snap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, keep safe. Nope. Marie's from the Aristocats. Dark bargain. <laughs> I've already gotten that. Uh, have you seen the sloth? Uh, he kind of blends in with the couch. You see him? Everyone focuses on my head, but they don't see the sloth guy. Um, it's another gremlin. Uh, do another vulpic eat. Let's go, another Vulpic Eat. Glimmer Bell. Uh, Adventurous Impulse, or got one. Pantagia Tiger. Ominous Seas. I've already got all these. Grim Dancer, I already got that. Channeled Force, I already got that. Labyrinth Raptor, I already got that. Uh... But we did get a holographic symbiote, which is still a pretty good card. So, I mean, it's not the worst thing to get a holographic of. Pack was okay. It's an okay pack. All right, here we go. Take a sip. Dude, you can see my, like, veins popping out of my arm. <laughs> Hold on. And I, like... Damn, you can't really see it. Once I'm, like, when I'm in the gym, and my blood's, like, pumping insane, I have, like, legit... Well, you can kind of see it. I have, like, 20 veins, like, popping all over here. <laughs> uh, here we go. This is the one. This one got snaps. Okay. We got a startling development. Is that what it's called? It is. I already showed that one earlier. Pangolin. Already got that. Raptor. Already got that. Evolving Wilds. Already got that. Facet Reader. Already got that. Unlikely Aid. Already got that. Another alternate art cavern whisperer. <laughs> So we got two of those. <laughs> Migratory Great Horn. Already got that. Sabretooth. Already got that. Fully Grown. Already got that. Uh, hey, a Glowstone Recluse. Normal. I got the alternate art one. Now I got a normal one. That's a really good card. Uh, it's a three mana. Mutates for four. It has reach. Whenever this creature mutates, put two 1-1 one, one counters on it. And it's a 2-3. So if you mutate it onto something... It's a 4-4. Four, four. And then it goes up every time it mutates. 5-5, five, five, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, another fight is 1. Got that. Or wait, 4-5. Four, not 4-4. Four, four. I failed math. Don't listen to me. Uh, foot... Fall crater. Uh, oh shit, here we go. We got... Kogla... The Titan Ape. <laughs> 
Kagwa the Titan Ape. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> you failed math in what kindergarten? <laughs> Listen, let's not talk about it. What's he do? When Kagla the Titan Ape enters the battlefield, it fights up to one target creature you don't control. Whenever Kagla attacks, destroy target artifact or enchantment defending player controls. Then two mana, return target human you control to its owner's hand. Kagla gains indestructible till end of turn. He costs six mana. He's a seven six. Yo, this guy's crazy. And then I got a dinosaur and a black white lane. It's funny because it's the scoured barons, but it kind of looks like thousand needles. But you know. <laughs> Nice. Wait, is Kogla a rare or a mythic rare? He's just a rare too then, yeah? Even though he's a legendary creature, so he's a rare. Okay. This is the last pack. What if I, like, I caught it with my snap fingers? Here we go. This is it. This is the one. <laughs> Gotta smell them. Good point. Oh, yeah. That's the smell. Take a peek at Ikoria Commander decks. Hey, thanks. Here we go. Night Squad Commando. Cathartic Reunion. We got a brush wag. That's a second brush wag. That's good luck. Brush wags are good luck. Uh, hampering Snare. Memory Leak. A Prickly Marmoset. A trap. It's a trap. Uh, another symbiote. Another vanthosaur. Another archipelago. <laughs> uh, call of the death dweller. Uh, ooh, we got the regal leosaur. That's actually a really nice red-white mutate card. Gets out there, it's 2-2. Two, two. Uh, we got Inspired Ultimatum Blue, Red, White. Yo, look at that. Target player gains five life. Uh, Inspired Ultimatum deals five damage. I keep shaking. Uh, 20 target and then you draw five cards. I played this the other night. I drafted it and then I never got to play it. But if I did, this is the card I would have beat somebody with if I just would have drawn, I think I needed a white or a red land and I never drew it. And then I lost. And then <laughs> I got a holographic blue land, a green land, and a human soldier. So we got no mythic rares, but you know what? We got the best card of them all. We got the holographic porky parrot with crazy art. That's good enough for me. To me, that is a mythic rare. <laughs> Shark Typhoon? Actually, that's a good question. What was Shark Typhoon? Uh, uh, Where'd you go, Shark Typhoon? Where did it go? <laughs> Is it in here? Shark Typhoon's rare. What are the mythic rares? Are they all the Godzilla cards? I imagine all the Godzilla cards are, cards are mythic rares. Shark Typhoon is rare, yeah. Most Godzilla are rare. Planeswalkers, legendary creatures. Well, I got legendary creatures, but they're not mythic. Hold on. Ikoria Mythic Rares. Brakos Apex Forever. Shevel Bane of Monsters. Fiend Artisan. 
General Kudro, Iluna, Kinnon, Bonder, Luca, Luminous Brood Moth. Okay, I see. It's like all these. Well, didn't get any of those, but, <laughs> you know, that's all right. Still fun to open packs. Still got some fun cards. Um, cool. Dun, 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 dun. Well, now I can put them all back in the box. Eh. Godzilla cards also aren't in the regular booster boxes. They're only in collector booster boxes. Why well, pre-ordered two? I see. Well, I'm gonna be uh, getting. I'll be getting like the core 2021 collector booster boxes or whatever. Whoop. And I'll open those on stream. Yeehaw. <laughs> uh, neat. 